breaking news, ladies. <laughs> if you're putting up with a man <laughs> suffering from a little cold, you might, yes, you might want to be a little bit more sympathetic, madam, actually, because apparently man flu really is a thing. <laughs> yes, this is, this is not just me, this is according to scientists, clever people. There's new evidence <laughs> which shows that men, men, bless their little socks, they have weaker immune systems than ladies. Oh. Yeah. What's that Damon like when he's got a Pathetic. cold? Is he? <laughs> has, Pathetic. Has he got that special lime eel wall? Oh, th like his shuffle. I call it the flu shuffle. <laughs> so this is Eamon, right? So he appears like, in his dressing gown or something, and I'm in the kitchen, and he goes like this. Oh. <laughs> oh. And I'm really a do play with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, burst into I'm really unsympathetic. I do that. What's the matter with your feet? <laughs> <laughs> you oh, know why their Ill. immune systems aren't as good as ours? Because they don't experience all the kids at school get that are, get exposed to loads of different diseases and illnesses germs. and germs. And mums go and collect their kids from school and they're exposed to them. So you build up, you mums build up a tolerance. Good point. What do men do? They're in the car, aren't they? <laughs> going to work, being in their back man caves. Yeah. In the <laughs> oh, do you know what cave. really annoys me is when someone has got a cold and they know they're ill and then they still come and spend time with you. Eddie did that to me last week. I had such a busy week with work and he turned up and he went, oh, I feel really unwell. And I was like, oh, great. So now I'm going to get it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, but I bet what he wanted was for you to look after he him. He did. And then yeah. he said to me, he said, but I do want to sit at home all on my own. Yeah. I was like, all right, I get it now. So you want a spoon on the sofa, yeah. you want me to get you soup, you want me to get you... Yes, make... but we do, I bet you did. Yeah. I hate I it did. when people have got um, colds and they come anywhere near, near you so someone who works on this show, who shall be nameless, came in two weeks ago and she started sniffling. I went, back Don't off. Don't sniffle around Janet. <laughs> I want a ten-foot exclusion zone. Yeah. Three metres. Yeah. So this is what I'm going to wear on the underground. <laughs> <laughs> if you see me on the central line... <laughs> Can we, still, can we still hear you, though? We can still oh, hear you. I can you. bellow through, through a bit Janet. of plastic. No, Janet. She can bellow through a bit of plastic. But hang on, no so you've got a little bit of a cold today. I have got a slight sore but throat as a result in. of a, a taxi driver driving me somewhere and he had a cold. Uh. You, you know who you are. <laughs> you know who you are. Yeah, I said, you've got a cold, haven't you? And he went, mm, I think it's under control. But I'm in an enclosed space with but a dog. Now we'll get it now. Exactly. And then we can blame you. Can we borrow your helmet, please? <laughs> <laughs>